In this video, we're going to explore some housing data from Zillow using Power BI. Okay guys, so let's get started and let's go get our Zillow data set. So that is out there as a CSV file. I'll leave a link to where it's actually at. Um, let me go and browse out to there. So it has multiple files. The one we want to get is the median sold price for all homes. And you can kind of see it's a CSV file. I'm just going to open that up. Take half a second here to, to get it open. And this is the data to start with. Let's just go straight to edit. Let me drag that over so we can see it. There we go. And we need to first transform this and get this first row into headers. And so now that we got that first row into headers, um, the next thing we need to do is it's out here in columns by year and month. And so we need to pivot that. So I'm just going to select all those out to the end. And then I'm just going to um, unpivot. So that brought it straight down. Let's rename those. Give them something meaningful, I guess, here. Um, so this is year dash mm. And then this is the home value. OK, so our data is almost ready. Um, what else do I want to do here? I want to split this column up. I want an actual date that I can use. So we just need to go here and split the column by a delimiter. And just the dash is already there, leftmost. And now we've got the two columns here. And then we need to make a third column. Um, and I'm going to use one of, one of the newer functions. I'm going to grab both those columns. I'm going to go ahead and add a column from examples. And I'm just going to go in here and uh, type in 1996 and then dash and I can't see that oh it hold on it didn't quite do it right let me cancel that so um, I want to select those two columns column from example and then from selection so then it only looks at those two columns um, which I cannot see let me move this over a little bit there we go so we just need to type in 1996 dash 4 dash 1 so I'm going to make a whole date out of that. I just put the day in there as one. Um, and then if I do that, it finds them all. So now we have a date. I hit OK. And then I want to transform this um, into an actual date. Let me rename it first. And then um, let's make sure I go back to um, transform make sure it knows that this is a date and so I think that's all I want to do for the data set so let's go ahead and close and apply that and so now it's going to come in and load the data model and it's back now so everything's loaded up over on the right side you can see our fields um, there's a couple modeling things I want to do to help make this a little easier um, I want to make this date uh, a little more of what I would normally see on a date so I'm just going to come in here and change that. Um, the home value, I want to put some commas. And I actually don't want the two decimals, so. so let me get rid of those. There's the home value. Let's hide these two columns here. Um, we, don't, we don't need those anymore. And then um, the size rank, we'll put a comma on it. So just a couple formatting things. Now we have these. We can let's turn these into things that we can map. So this is a county. This I don't know what to do with the metro. Let's do the state, and we'll map that to a state. The city maps to a city. And I think this region. Let's rename that because I think that's the zip. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I don't know what is what. I'll put zip there and I'll put zip one here and I don't know we may not even use it 
zip one. Okay. And let's go ahead and uh, let's try zip one. So here's the zip. It's postal code. Okay. So now we've got our data where we want it. Oh, the home value on the summarization. I'm going to turn that into average so that it doesn't sum naturally. Um, the size rank, let's go ahead and average that out. I don't know what the size rank is. So now we've got our data ready. Um, let's come in and let's create some charts. So the first thing I want to do is I want to rank my um, the home value by state. And notice it went right to that chart. I don't want that chart just yet. I want this chart. I'm just going to drag this across the whole thing here. Let me grab it. And then we're just going to sort this by the value. Okay, and then I also I want I like to see um, on some of these I like to see the value. So we can see right offhand that DC is the DC, California, Hawaii are the three top home values. Now let's um, let's grab a couple more. Let's drop in um, the state again and let's drop in the home value and we're going to put that on a new map let's try the shape map I like that one so now we can see the darker blue ones um, are the ones that have the biggest uh, home value but I want to put on this chart let's, let's add a couple of tool tips on here so I'm going to have home value in here a few times and I'm going to change and have the median show up and I'm gonna have the uh, let's see the maximum and the minimum so now when we hover over it we can see a little more information about it so we can see the, the average home value is 379,000 the median is 316,000 the maximum home value is 64 million and the minimum home value is 21,000. Okay, so then let's go ahead and put one more chart up here. Um, and let's do it by city and drop the home value in there. And let's drag this out. I might just take this default one here. And so notice how this one is getting all kinds of weird cities. Um, one of the tricks is to actually drag the state in there and the uh, we can put county if we want and we don't have country so we can drill down through this one and it may give you a little bit better so I went to county and now we're heading down the city and see we're getting some random Europe stuff over there and that should be in Illinois so that didn't quite work as good as we hoped there's too many values to show. So let's go ahead and drill over here on Kansas. And there's the cities in Kansas. The bubble size is the home value. So you can see the bigger home values are up in Kansas City. If we go to California, some of those didn't show up in the right spots either. And let me just go back up for just a second. Oops, I went down to the wrong thing again. Let me go here. So those are the counties. And those look pretty good. Let's stay at counties and see where the most expensive counties. Here's the most expensive counties in Kansas. Um, here, here's the uh, California ones. I like that. So we're going to start there. But what I want to do is I want to show you the drill through capability that just showed up. It's pretty cool. So let's duplicate this page. Page one, I'm going to give it a name. We'll just call it um, Overview. And then page two, I'm going to call this um, Details for now. Okay, so what I want to do on page two is I want to put together a little more um, view of a single state. And so I'm on page two here. I actually I might just start some of these brand new. So um, the first thing I want to do is make it a drill through page. So there's this drill through filters here. I want to drill through by state. 
So if I drop that there, you get this little button up here, um, and it allows you to drill through, and it also allows you to go back to the previous screen. So next, I want to come in, and um, let's go down here. Let's make this a heat map. That's pretty cool. And so on that heat map, um, let's go by city. What are we at right now? We're at county name, which is interesting. Let's go all the way down to city. So there's city. And then let's go color saturation, um, the median home value. So let me grab home value down here. And instead of average, we're going to go median here. And now we can see, OK, there's the most expensive one. And that's over in Maryland. That's interesting. There it is, Illinois. OK, so next, let's turn this one into the map. And let's do some KPIs up top here. So I want to grab the average home value as a KPI. Drop it in here. Let's make it a little prettier. So let's give it a title. Turn that on. Call it average home value. We're going to give it a little background color. Change this to white. Make it a little bigger. Center it. And turn off the category label. Okay, and then let's also on the category on the actual data, the data label, let's change to just show thousands on everything. I don't know why. This sounds fun. So copy that. V, v. Okay, so I'm going to do a few different of these. Let's just do four. They fit in there just fine. So now instead of average, let's come in here and change change this to the median. And then let's do the min. And I guess that's the max and this is the min. And notice since I labeled these, I have to go in and actually change these. So this one is the min. This one was the max. And this one is the uh median. Okay, so now we've got all four of those. Let's get those distributed nicely. Um, we'll do a little format and then we'll distribute horizontally. There we go. Now I want to do a couple more charts. We, we can see this over time, this data, and so let's go ahead and do that. So by date, I want to see the value and I want to do it as a line chart. And that's interesting. This one has crashed. And then we can label that so we can see it better. So, wow, in 2011 we had 9.3 million crashed down to 140. That that must just be a sampling problem. We don't have data enough data there, do we? Let's cook a different one and see how that all reacts. So not enough houses were sold in these areas. And let's unclick it. And there you can see the climbing of the data. And then I want to look at one more chart here. Kind of round this out. And um, this chart, let's go with the, uh, I want to do a bubble chart. So I've got a blank one here. And let's drop in. Well, first of all, we know we're going to want to drop in um, the home value. And then you can measure a lot of different things here. I want to measure the size rank. Um, and I actually want the size of the bubble to be by the ranking. We got the home value, that's the average. Let's drop the median on the y axis. I'll change it over to median. Um, or we can count the houses sold. Let's count them, see how that works. 
and then um, we need time. So let's drop our date down in the play axis. And let's come back up here and size this. Okay, so we've got a nice little group of things going on here. Let's go let's go back and see how this all works. So DC, one of the highest um, median or average home, 380,000. Um, and then if we want to drill through, we right click, drill through the details, and we'll come over here. Now we're sitting on DC, and you can see how it grew from back here in 97, 184,000 average, to now the average is um, 560,000. So that's a pretty big growth margin. So um, this is by city. There's only one city in there. Let's expand. What did we do here? I must have messed that up because I'm not seeing a thing. I'm missing the legend, aren't I? Drop that in there. And now I've got it. So that's the city. So we can play this and watch it grow over time. Let me pause this and click on it so you can watch it actually move around. And you can see it's over there for the first few years and months. And here, I don't want actual months. That's moving way slow for now. So we need to come back over to the date, to the date hierarchy. Now we've got years. And now we can see it go. So year by year, we can see where um, the count of homes is, is changing up here. But look at the value start to move to the right. And so you can see that over here in our government, the, the federal government area, house values have gone way up since we started this. Um, and so this is kind of fun to play with, and you guys can um, play with this. Let's try one more example while we're here. Um, we'll come back and try California because we get more data. So there's all the counties over here. Here's this. Um, you can see the max, the, the men. 21,000 up to 64 million. We can drill through in details. And now we can see something over here. Um, oh, let's come, one more thing I want to show you. Let's come in here. And there's too many of these cities on this play map. So I'm going to come to the visual filter. And let's go in and do the top in. And I'm just going to do it by home value. Drop that down here. Um, and we'll do like the top 10 apply that filter and that will drop it down for us. So now without clicking anything we'll get the top 10 in here and we can kind of watch them move. So everything started over here. Counts of houses are moving up. When things move to the right we're actually seeing some higher value things moving around. So not a lot of houses are moving in this one um, but it's it's got a home average home value of 4.2 million. So that's a pretty big county there. Anyways, um, I'll have this out there. You can play with it if you want to interact with it. Um, the video, obviously, you can follow along. You can get the data. I'll put a link out to um, out to the uh, data, too, if you want to get it from Zillow. Um, other than that, if you have any questions about it, just let me know. Um, just leave some comments and um, let me know if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.